Philippines. National Conference. Hello. 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 How are you today? Fine, teacher, and you? Good, good. Are you back in San Salvador, Alan? No, I'm still in San Miguel. <laughs> okay, what part of San Miguel? San Miguel, San Miguel. Okay, good, good. Nice. And, and when do you plan to return? Uh, maybe on, on 14 or 50 days. <laughs> okay, good, good. Because because my 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 wife is on vacations, and is we decide from, to. Is, is she from San Miguel too? Yeah, she's from San Miguel too. All right, good, good. What about you, Claudia? Um, <laughs> I stay at home. Okay, <laughs> you're not working. <laughs> yes, I work in, in afternoon. Oh, in the afternoon? Yes. What time do you finish? About nine o'clock. Okay, good. So are you working from your house? Yes, I work from okay. home. Good, good. And you, Andy? I was on office all day. Okay, good. And that is in San Salvador? Yes, in San Salvador. Okay, good, good. Hello, Nelly. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, How about good. you? I'm doing okay, thank God. Yes. All right, so today is uh, May 5th um, in the United States. Have you ever heard about Cinco de Mayo? No. Never? Never. No. Okay, a, a Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican tradition and um, they celebrate it in big cities in the United States. So people march, um, they have low rider cars. Uh, it's a nice thing. People have barbecues. They eat carne asada, hamburgers. So it's 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 pretty good. But today is uh, it's not like the regular traditional Cinco de Mayo. You know, it's like a little bit different now. So. Anyways, so today is May 5th, 2020. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Yes. Uh huh. What were the topics? Mm, comparative adjectives. Uh huh. We were comparing adjectives. Remember that we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. To compare short adjectives, the form is different than when you're doing with long adjectives. Remember that if the adjective is short, that means if he has only one syllable, to compare, you're going to write ER, fast, faster, small, smaller, cheap, cheaper. If the adjective has two syllables or more, then it's considered to be a long adjective. So you will say more expensive, more beautiful, um, more ridiculous, for example. Now, if the adjective has two syllables and it finishes with letter Y, like silly, pretty, ugly, uh, then to say, uh, to use the comparative of ugly, you will have to say uglier. To say, to say the comparative of pretty, you will have to say prettier. With this, prettier. When you're using comparatives. So that's, that's how people uh, talk 
when we're doing comparatives of short or long adjectives. Um, any questions there? Only, only as uh, yeah. If if it's a short adjective, you only add er. If the adjective is long, you're going to have to say more, more expensive, more, more beautiful, expensive. more dangerous. But okay. if the adjective has two syllables or more, and has um, and it finishes in letter y, then you have to use. Uh, the short form, and you will say prettier, uh, uglier, fancier, and so Cheaper. on. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right. Um, any other questions or comments about what we did yesterday? No. Yeah, I, I remember what we took about, uh, about the master tips. Uh huh. Exactly. So, how many demonstratives do we have? Uh, I don't remember. Let me count. Uh, maybe from six. You sure? It's a little bit less. No, four. 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 Now, do you remember the function of those? Those, 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 those is used for a uh, plural that it's near for us. Okay, those is for plural that far. is far from us. Oh, far. oh sorry, uh -huh. that's for, for us. Yes. yes. For, for now, uh, if I say that, how do I use that? When when it is near, when it's singular, when it's near, and it's near for us. Okay, it's singular and it's far. Far. That is my car. That is my house. That is my son. I'm talking about one, and it's, uh, and it's far from me. This. How do you use this? When it's near. And it's uh -huh. both, and it's and it's singular. Singular. Yes, this is when it's singular and it's near, and then you have these, T H E S E. When do we use these? When it's plural and near. Good, plural, plural and near. near, plural and near. Yes. Okay, so those are called demonstrative pronouns. Are there any questions related with demonstrative pronouns? No. No? All right, so let's go with the first um, with the first example, the exercise we were doing. Let's see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Where was this? Wishes. Hold on. Comparing demonstratives. Okay, now do you remember that one? Yes. Okay. So who's who's drawing on the screen? Uh huh. What's the answer for number six? Can you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. What's the answer for number six? These. Is it? These are. Okay. These. Plural. Yes, plural. These. How do you spell these? T-H-E-S. -E -E. Good. What about number seven? That. That, that is that. correct. What about number eight? Those. This book. 
these books right here. When you say right here, it's because whatever you're mentioning, it's at a short distance from you. So these books right here are mine. What about number nine? That, that, that store. store. That store across the street. Sales clothes. Okay. What about number 10? Those. 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 Those students over there are my friends. What about 11? That, that, that one. Uh-huh. I like to buy that one. And what about number 12? This is the, this year. This is the year we'll win the, the championship. Yep. This is the year we'll win the championship. That is correct. All right. Um, any questions? Are we okay with this exercise? Yes. All right. So let me close this. Let me go here. Let's see this. Three point nine three. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Let's check this here. Knowledge check. Can you see the image? Yes. yes. All right. Okay. So now we're going to be talking about materials. Okay, uh, how many objects do you see there? Eight. Eight. Eight is correct. What's the name of the first object? Bracelet. Bracelet. Number two? Ring. Ring. What Ring. about number three? Tie. 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 Number four? Socks. Number five? Jacket. 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 Seven? Shirt. 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 Number seven? Earrings. Earrings. And the last Earrings. one is? Boots. Boots. Now, if you notice here, we have a list of eight words. What do they have in common? All of them are materials. You have cotton, gold, Leather, plastic, rubber, silk, silver, and wool. Are there any questions with that vocabulary? No. Is everything clear? Yes. Okay. So what would be the answer for the first one? Bracelet? Plastic. Plastic, plastic bracelet. Plastic. Uh-huh. Okay. So let's check this here. A uh, plastic bracelet, plastic. What about number two? Gold. Huh? Gold what is ring. It? A gold ring? Okay, let's put gold. Okay. How about the tie? A sealed tie. Okay, let's check. Uh, does everybody agree? Silk? Silk. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's put a silk tie. What about socks? A uh, wool socks. What is it? Wool. 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 Okay, let's put wool. Wool. What about the jacket? Leather. Um, jacket. What is it? Leather. 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 Okay. Leather. Leather. Better. Okay, what about the shirt? Cotton, cotton maybe. Uh, cotton. cotton. Cotton, okay. Cotton. What about earrings? Silver, Silver. earrings. 
Okay, silver earrings and boots. Rover. Okay, let's check if rubber works good. Let's check this here. Aha. Uh -huh. So all your answers were correct. That's good. Are there any questions about these materials? No. No. No? No. All right. Can you mention other things that are made of plastic? A bottle. A bottle? Sure. A other... shard. <laughs> what is it? A shard, maybe. A shard? Okay. Yeah. How about a ring? Which other materials can you make a ring? Silver. Silver. How about a tie? Cotton. Cotton. What about socks? Cotton. Cotton too. A jacket. Cotton. 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 Too. Wool. Wool. Uh, wool. Wool. Cotton. How about a shirt? Sure. Uh, uh, a wool? Yeah, sure. It can be wool. Earrings? Can be silver too. Gold. Gold can be gold. And boots. Leather. Can be leather. Sure. Leather. It could be leather. It could be leather. Especially if you use them to protect your feet from water. Uh, leather is a, is a good option. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, are there any questions or comments about these uh, images? No. No. All right. Okay. So let's let's go back. Let's see this here. Okay, let's check. All right. Do you see the image? Yes. Okay. Uh, preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Can someone refresh my memory and tell me what I told you guys about comparing adjectives? Do you remember uh, what uh, I told you? Yes. For for some adjectives, you can use more when it's when it is not a short adjective. Uh huh. Yeah. And what happens if the adjective is short? Uh, you can use a uh, another seal like uh, e, e er like. Okay. E r. E r. So yes. E r. So it says, which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than, and then we go to the second question where we say, which one do you like better or which one do you like more? I like the leather one better, or you can also say, I like the leather one more. more then you give extra information and then you say the leather jacket is prettier than it looks bigger than it's more stylish than now stylish has two syllables so remember um, that we're going to add er only when the information only when the adjective is short so fast, faster, cheap, cheaper, quick, quicker, small, smaller. If he has two syllables or more, you will say more expensive, more stylish, more dangerous. Now, if the adjective finishes in Y, uh, even though he has two syllables, 
you will have to say um, the same way we do with the small adjectives. And then we will say prettier, uh, uglier, fancier, and things like that. And then we have our layer. It's cheap. What is the comparative of cheap? Cheaper. Cheaper. Nice. Cheaper. Nice, nice, nicer. 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 Pretty. Prettier. 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 And big. Bigger. Prettier. Bigger. I'm sorry. Bigger. So nice. If you see, uh, nice is only an example. When the adjective finishes in e, you don't double the the e. You just put an r. Nice. Nicer. Pretty, like I was telling you, pretty has two syllables, but it finishes with Y. So you have to say, my sister is prettier than my cousin, for example. So you will eliminate letter Y, and then you will put I, and then you will put ER. And now yeah. in the case of big, where you have a consonant, vowel consonant, you will have to double the last consonant, and then you're going to have to put ER. Are there any questions or comments there? No. 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 Okay. So let me assign you to working pairs. Okay. Uh, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. If you want to take a, a picture of it, okay. let's see this here. Share nine to ten. All right. Can you follow the picture in WhatsApp group, please? What is it? I, I just um, send it to the WhatsApp chat. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Uh, apply um, this and see how well you use comparatives. So let me... More breakout rooms, six participants, right here. Bigger than a cat. Yes, a tiger is bigger than a cat. Yes. Okay, la segunda sería a cat is cat? small, is small, mm, smaller, is smaller, is smaller, verdad? No. Which one are you doing? The the six. Okay. The number Let's six. See number six. Frogs. 
then butterfly. So what would be the answer? I don't know. I don't know. Frogs, a frog is, uh -huh. then butterfly. <laughs> I don't know what is the adjective. Me neither. Within. Uh, let's let's put an asterisk, um, and we'll come back to it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Butterfly is more beautiful than. Uh, yes, spider is lower than a tiger. I yes, guess. yes, than a tiger. Okay, amazing. <laughs> We did a great job. You guys finished? Yeah. <laughs> what, finished. what what did you have for number for number six? Number six, okay. A frog, frog is is noisier than a butterfly. Yep. All right, good. <laughs> I don't know why. And then number six. Did did you find the answer for number six? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it's noisier. Noisier. No. Uh, what's me noisier, teacher? Que hace más bulla? Oh. Ruidoso. Yes. Yes, that's the word. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Let's return. Okay. Okay, were you able to finish all the exercises? Yes. Okay, uh, may I have a volunteer for number two? Me. Yes, please. Um, a cat is smaller than a bird. Good, number three? Okay, I will do number three, it is. Sure. A bear, it's more dangerous than a dog. Okay, number four. Anybody? Dog is friendlier than a rabbit. Good, number five. Rabbit is faster than a frog. Good, number six. Frog is noisier than a butterfly. Okay, it's noisier than a butterfly. What about number seven? A butterfly. butterfly is more beautiful than a monkey. Okay, good. What about number eight? A monkey is smarter monkey than a Monkey is smarter than a giraffe. Okay, what about number nine? Giraffe is taller than a elephant. Okay, number 10? An elephant. elephant is stronger than a snake. Good. What about 11? Snake is longer than a spider. Good. And the last one, number 12? Spider is slower than a tiger. 
Okay, spider is slower, slower than, than a, a spider. All right, good. Any questions about those adjectives that we had for for animals? No. No? All right. So let me show you this. Okay, um, do you remember this exercise? Do you see the E? Yes. Okay, do you remember this exercise? Do you? Uh, no. 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 Okay, hold on. But it's similar to the, the, the last one. Yes, it's, it's, it's kind of similar. You're right. Let me see if I can... Um, let's see. All right, what's up? Nine to 10. Okay, so you should be get, did you get it? Yes. Okay, you should have gotten it. Okay, so are we ready to work in pairs? Okay, let's see. So I'm going to assign you again. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello, who's your partner, Andy? And um, was a... Uh, Cecilia. Yes, Cecilia. <laughs> okay, Cecilia, can you hear me? But not here. Yes. Tengo oh. problema de conexión ahorita. Ok. Yeah. Can, 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 you, can you hear Andy? Yes. Hi. Ok, so I'll let you guys work together. Ok. Ok, number six, my friend is taller than me taller than me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. number seven sandy is thin mm. thinner Sería thin thinner than tamara okay number Ray, eight my father is stronger than Thomas' father. Yes. Harry Potter books are more interesting than the book of jungle, than the book of the jungle. Yes. The tiger is heavier than a fox. Yes. Uh, okay, the weather is hotter 
than yesterday. Berta is more beautiful than Debbie. More beautiful, yes. French is more difficult than English. Yes. Tina is five years old. Sandra is 10 years old. Older. Sandra is older than Tina. Mm -hmm. Russia is longer than longer France. Than France. Okay. Hasta ahí veo yo, número 17, no lo veo. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. Yes, okay. I think so. Let me check. Where is this page? Huh. No, that's the that's the one from no that's not it that's not it either huh Do you see the image? Yes. Let's see this here. Let's see. Give me a second. Okay, so I will send you Okay, did you receive the images? Yes. Okay, so finish those two images. And I think that's going to be it. So finish those, please. Alan. Give me a second, please. Sure, did you guys oh, receive the images? Yes. In the chat? We are finished. Okay. Uh, yes. and I and I sent you two different images like a few seconds ago. And, and that is related with um, with comparatives. So read the instructions, like in the first one they ask you to say the opposite. So if I say cleaner, what will be the opposite? Um, or if I say faster, what will be the opposite? Slow. Slower. 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 What if I say more expensive? What will be the opposite? Cheaper. Cheaper. Okay. So that's why I sent you the two images right now. So you guys can use that and practice more. Got it? Okay. Yes. All right. Got it. All right. Thank Good. You. Okay. Earlier. Yes. It's more beautiful. More beautiful. More boring. Yes. Interesting. 
more interesting. Yes. Interesting, more interesting. Interesting, okay. Yes. Heavier is light. Lighter. Lighter. Neither. More interesting than the book of the jungle. Okay. The tire is more than a fox. The weather is hotter than yesterday. Okay. The girls are happier than the boy. Bertha is more beautiful than Debbie. French is more difficult than English. And Tina is five years old. Sandra is ten years old. Sandra is always young. Fifteen. Tina is five years old. Sandra is ten years old. Can you hear me? Ahorita sí. Yes, okay. Tina is five years old. Sandra is 10 years old. Sandra is older than Tina. Okay. Rosa is more younger than friends. Okay. Continue. At first, I'm hairy than chips. Elephants are bigger than bears. Gold is more than stainless silver. Bikes are slower than cars. Safer is danger, more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Younger is okay. What is the opposite of where? It's uh, slower. Slower. Which one are you Faster. doing? Which number? Uh, letter K. Letter? Mm. The number, I don't know. The number. Uh, where, where, where the no, where in the number two at the uh -huh. letter, at the letter E. Letter E. Yes. More boring. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. What would be the no, opposite? No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's the opposite of boring? Interesting. Uh huh. Yes. It's more, more, more interesting. More yeah. interesting. Neither is is far. The opposite. The opposite is, is far. And for the for wider, wider, wider. Wider. Yeah, wider. That is correct. Wider. Wider. What is the opposite for wider? Maybe narrow. What is the meaning? Okay. Uh, uh, wide is ancho. It's ancho. The opposite? What's the opposite? Mm. Narrow. I don't remember how. Narrow. 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 Yes. Okay. Narrow. Inteligente, es clever. 
Ah, ok. Ese es el último. Yes, that's it. So I like get bra. Yes. Have you guys finished? Yes. Yes. All right, let's return. Were you able to finish? Yeah. Are there any questions on how to compare uh, things or people or places? No. Okay. Any questions about the platform or the uh, exercises that you need to do? Nothing. Everything is clear? Yes. Okay. Well, so um, we're going to stop here. We continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Uh, I don't know if Alan or Nelly, Claudia, Andy, Cecilia or Lorraine, do, do you guys have any questions? No. No, teacher. All right. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for making the space. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you, see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye.